welcome back. In this video, we are going to go over the tool library and how to create tools. Go to the Review tab and click on the Tools icon. In this menu, we can manipulate our tool library and create new tools. Here we have our tool directory, which stores all different kinds of tools. Below is the subcategory, which holds the actual tools. In this dropdown, all my different types of Willow tools can be found. The same thing goes for the die section of the tool menu. Let's go ahead and add a new directory, and we'll call it Sigma Bend. If you want to use tools from the Willa in this directory, then check the box. We now have our new directory with our new tools. Let's go ahead and create a brand new tool. First thing you will want to do is give your new tool a name. If you are using a Dellum controller, make sure you assign your tool number here. Add your correct specs to the tool. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these lengths. I'm going to add one length of 5 and 10. Under the standard column, enter the amount of tools you have of each length. If your tool has heels, enter those heels here, then click OK. If you need to change your heel specs, click on the heel icon to change its dimensions. You can also import tools and dies. Click on the import button next to the tool library to import a tool. Click on the tool you want to import. Next, we will define the tool. Select the contours and click apply. Sigma bend will then detect the center point of the tool. If it's not correct, you can also change it here. When finished, click Done, then Convert. After this, a window will appear, and here we can enter the max load of our tool. Also, enter how many tools like this we have, and enter the lengths. This same process can also be used to create a new die. Make sure when you create new tools and dies that you do not include tangs or locks. You have now begun to create your new tool library. And that's all there is to it. 